Well, now we're going to start applying trigonometry to non-right triangles by developing the law of sines. We'll start out with a non-right triangle, and I'm going to have a convention of labeling the angles with capital letters, and then the opposite side with the corresponding lowercase letter. And then I'm going to break this triangle, like we can for all non-right triangles, into two right triangles using the side H, as I've labeled here. Now, for each of those two right triangles, I'm going to write a sine expression. The sine of angle A is the opposite side over the hypotenuse, which is the length of H over the length of C. And the sine of angle C is just going to be H over A. Now, I'm hoping not to care about what H turns out to be, so I'm going to try to eliminate it. So I'll just rearrange both of these equations to H is equal to C times the sine of A, and H is equal to um, A times the sine of angle C. And then by the transitive property, I can just equate these two expressions, C sine of A uh, is equal to A sine of C. Now usually when we use the law of sines, we write these things in a slightly different way. So I'll just rearrange this by division into sine A over A and sine C over C. And there's no reason that I couldn't do this for the other angle, the, the B angle of the triangle. And so we end up with what we call the law of sines, which is that the sine of angle A over the length of its opposite side is equal to the sine of angle B over the length of its opposite side, and so on to get the law of signs.